Good afternoon, my trading peeps. Today is Friday, May 26th, Memorial Day weekend, approximately 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's been a couple weeks since I've given you a weekend update. Although not much has changed in terms of my sentiment, I just wanted to keep you all abreast of what is going on here in our markets. And where I still anticipate the market to go, etc etc as always we will start with the u.s dollar uh, and who controls the u.s dollar the federal reserve the largest private bank in world history known to date and those uh, members that control the decisions there uh, regarding this private bank are jay powell and the rest of the federal reserve board all right, so they are uh, uh, deciding whether the strength of the dollar will go up, causing a deflationary impact on our U.S. economy, or down, causing an inflationary impact on our U.S. Uh, economy. All right, so they are kind of the governors, if you will, of the dollar. All right. So we have to pay close attention to the dollar because what happens with the dollar gives us a clue as to what will happen to the stock markets. And then what happens with the stock markets spills over into our crypto space. Currently, the dollar has surprised me just a bit, all right, which hasn't happened much in the past year. Uh, but it has surprised me here because it has jumped over this level of 103 once again. All right. So it looks like our target is going to be up here where the 200 day converges with a level I've drawn there at 105.6. And that is my latest target. Um, at, at which point, I think once we hit that 200 day, it's relatively easy to predict that we'll hit our heads on that. We won't just break right through and probably do sign kind of something like this, maybe test that 200 day again. And then we have to decide, are we going to go up at that point or is that the end of this run? We come back down, test our neckline and potentially break that neckline uh, before continuing further down. Uh, remains to be seen and we have to digest data news fundamentals etc as we go in time uh, so for now uh, current projection is we will continue up and hit our heads against that 200 day moving average all right on to the vix here vix is surprisingly remains surprisingly low suppressed you can see it is in a bullish descending wedge um, but considering the fact that we are a few days out from settling this uh, U.S. debt ceiling crisis, uh, it is rather surprising that fear index is low. I suppose something that might be on the minds of the uh, traders in the market here is that we have seen this occur at least half a dozen times within as many years uh, that we have drawn very close to defaulting on our debt and uh, Congress somehow, Congress and Senate, Senate here in the US somehow comes up with a last second resolution. It's, it's as if they have it already planned in their back pocket and they're just kind of playing games with the psyche of the American public. So maybe uh, the market is just expecting more of the same. And I guess that's okay but past history does not always indicate what will happen again in the future so we need to be careful with this monitor it closely pay attention to uh, the uh, debt ceiling crisis here in the u.s moving on here we have our regional banks this has been the latest and most important chart um, that I have been following. Of course, the housing market chart is also very important. I have that on my back burner as well. This has come to the forefront. And as I said before, since 2009, we have been in a secular bull market and we are still in a secular bull market. Now, I expect if on the weekly we were to break this all important ascending trend line and confirm it, Again, on the weekly, we're currently looking at the daily view. 
um, that would indicate the end of our secular bull market, that we are entering into more of a recessionary period and possibly even into a depression depression though i hate to say those words i hate to even speak them into existence i don't know that it will be that bad and i hope it would not ever be that bad but you always have to hope for the best but prepare for the worst so we have to think about that at least as a possibility as an option in the u.s here especially with all the craziness that is going on uh, it would behoove us to uh, be aware, cognizant of the issues that are at play here. Okay, so uh, with the dollar being strong and the VIX being down, uh, those two kind of conflict with each other. Usually uh, when the dollar is, well, when the dollar is up and the VIX is up uh, fear is up and the dollar is up that usually plays negatively on the market when the dollar is down and the VIX is down that plays positively in the market now when the dollar in the VIX contra uh, contraindicate each other such as in this case the VIX is down but the dollar is up then the market kind of tends to go in a sideways pattern now this is not always the case but often the case all right so let's see what is actually taking place here on the us 500 all right still in our channel up and let me bring this over here so we have a better view and one thing i have noticed here is i'm going to draw it out so you can see it more clearly we are in an ascending wedge this is bearish guys all right so sooner or later this bottom trend line on this triangle is going to be broken and really that uh, triangle should be highlighted red let me do that real quick for you so you can see that all right because that is a bearish wedge now uh recently uh the market has gone up now uh, this is all propelled by nvidia i'm sure many of you have heard the news uh nvidia blew out projected earnings and that really lifted the market all right so the market has gone up resultantly and i think what may occur here let me get out my pen as we come up here and we hit our heads one last time maybe five times on this five touches on this macro uptrend before we uh break this bearish ascending wedge and come down somewhere down here now i have a hypothesized channel bottom i don't know if this is a, you know a true bottom or not but it does follow a trend here which started in october 22 and then we have some touches here in march of 23 and we have our 200 day moving average which is right down here somewhere as well so maybe we wick down and touch that 200 day somewhere over here but I do anticipate a breakdown from this uh, ascending wedge. All right. So that is definitely a bearish uh, signal we have to be cognizant of. All right. And this could coincide, by the way, timing wise with the uh, what happens with our debt ceiling here in the U.S. If we can raise it, we continue on as normal as normal as can be if we don't we default and that has all sorts of unknown impacts that's where the vix would spike out of this uh bullish descending wedge that's where the dollar could do some crazy things who knows what and at that point i would see the s p breaking down from this wedge and of course crypto would follow now you guys know for the last two months I have been preaching about a neckline retest all right we still haven't had that touch at 25200 that's where the mind neckline is now one thing i did post a couple days ago was it yesterday maybe yesterday is that there is another trend line here you can see i started it on this long wick can on the top of this long wick candle down uh was that the 19th of august in uh, uh 2022 all right 
So some technicians may be using that as the neckline. We got our touch here again in February of 23, and then it formed the handle and broke to the top side of that handle, which interestingly enough converged with my neckline for my cup and handle pattern. Therefore, I drew this green area here because this all could be considered a neckline. All right, see that green area? So we have had a couple touches here on this uh, on this particular neckline. So maybe that is actually a more uh, accurate neckline. I don't know. It could be. Maybe not. All right. So I'm trying to draw another circle here, indicating the touches that we've had. We've had two touches there on that specific this black line. Let me uh, pronounce it a little bit more. I'm going to change that to four pixels so you can see it better. And that is a possibility that it, that is actually the real neckline of this uh, uh, cup and handle pattern that I have drawn here, the pink highlights, all right? And so with this head and shoulders pattern, maybe we only come down and test that top neckline. I'm expecting us, as you know, to come into that green area, and that's where I want to pick up uh, the bags, all right? That's where I want to start DCAing in, uh, in in my alts all right that's what I'm looking for uh, and so far every indication that I see on these charts shows me that we still have good potential to get into that green area and it and touch the 25 200 uh, for sure all right especially with this debt ceiling issue still to be resolved I'm gonna get rid of these circles here real quick and then uh, just zoom in on the chart a little bit because there's something else I want to show you here. All right, so what we're actually doing here, it looks to me, is forming a bear flag. Where's my pen? All right, this candle and the following two candles, which means that the bears are getting uh, their momentum up to break through that other neckline and come into the green area as I expect. All right. The other thing I see here is uh, a level right here. I'm going to draw that out. Alt H should give me my uh, level. There it is. I'll make that a little bit thicker. Okay. Come on. There we go. No, it's not. Oh, I got my pen on. Hang on, guys. Doing this charting live, sometimes I'm not paying attention. So I'm going to make that level a little bit thicker there. All right, so right now we're fighting with that level. That is acting as resistance. And that confirms the fact that this is going to be a bear flag, that bears are just getting up their momentum to chase down and come into this green area. Now, the other thing I wanted to explain is I do, I don't want to get too long in the tooth here. Uh, I have the center of this circle here where we touch on June 1st. The reason I have that on June 1st is because that is the final deadline that this ceiling debt issue should be resolved. And if it's not resolved, uh, you know, who knows what happens chaos will break out in the markets for sure we could go down further we could touch that 200 day moving average oh one more thing here let me show you this i'm going to hide all of these drawings and i'm going to jump to the weekly all right look where our 200 week moving average is guys we're above that 200 week moving average Right now, the 200 day or 200 week moving average sits at 26,278. So, if we break below that on the weekly and confirm that's two weeks out from here, all right, so that'd be middle of June would be confirmation, and we're under that 200 week moving average, it means that there is potential for further downside, all right. Otherwise, I'm just expecting a wick down and touching of that 25200 neckline on the daily because we are above that 200 week neckline and we are now using that as support. All right, so that's something to be aware of. That means that touch on the daily of the uh, or of that 25200 level is going to be quick. All right. 
it's probably just going to be a touch on you know one day and i don't expect us to break down further now this all indicates though that some the market is going to appreciate some kind of resolution on the debt ceiling uh issue and I, I think that that's what the charts are telling me i don't know what's going to happen this is just what i'm seeing from the charts all right so take it as you will all right now this brings us to our altcoins what are the altcoin spaces uh what are, what are they looking like okay so again a little bit of room for the total market to come down touch that 200 day moving average so again the alt still have some space to fall as well ethereum come back down and touch that neckline all right and there's not much room but there is room l ltc of course we're less than 80 days out from the halving and so i don't expect it to come back down too much either if it does it'll come back down and touch this ascending trend line all the alts are indicating to us that they're almost at the bottom. 42 cents was the, my, my level here. I didn't buy in because of the unknowns and the uncertainty with B, BTC. I was just still expecting it to draw back and touch that neckline. So I'm not in too many alts other than Ethereum right now. But uh, XRP, I could see that coming back and touching 42 cents as well. Uh, so all, all of these alts are indicating there is room for further downside. You can see this with audio, 20 cents there. ARB is uh, new, so there's not too much data that I can utilize, but we do have a level down there at $1.08. APE, we have a level below that at $2.87. Uh, so that has some room down as well. Now, ADA is interesting because it has fallen below this level, this ascending level. Um, so if we don't get a bounce on that 200-day moving average and move back up, this inverse head and shoulders pattern becomes invalid. But so far, it still remains intact. Okay, AVAX has a couple levels below it as well. So same story on all of these charts, guys. We have some room below us. That is interesting. Uh, because there is that bullish triangle so if that doesn't hold we will fall it will fall pretty pretty rapidly and then probably come back up we'll probably come all the way down here to four dollars and 27 cents if this triangle doesn't hold matic um same thing here you can see a bear flag is actually forming this is a bear flag now i'm not saying it will break this uh this secondary support here this ascending trend line but we at least will come back down to this area all right if not go further down before moving back up again all right so that's the scenario there on matic and uh you know again i can go through all of these charts kind of showing the same thing all goes almost reached a bottom we're on um, i think we're almost at new lows here on this and we did break to the top side of this uh bullish wedge so if all go uh continues to crash i have another level here at 11 cents i hope it doesn't go that low that's one of my hodls so <laughs> i don't want to see that one crash but we do have resistance up ahead you, you can see this descending trend line solana kind of the same thing have some room be down below i expect a neckline retest so it could break to the downside of this bullish wedge and doji i've been expecting us to touch the downside of this triangle for quite some time so it's all uh resonating the same message we're seeing on all of the charts uh, that being said it is important uh, to prepare for upside potential as well bitcoin does like to surprise us from time to time but so far for the last year or so guys you know i've been able to call this almost exactly um and i want uh you to prepare for the the you know the case that i might be wrong um but uh, you know what i'm seeing a caution is warranted until we get this debt ceiling uh crisis or issue resolved uh or whatever you want to call it uh, i'm not gonna uh start buying until i see some positive news on that uh regard in that regards all right that's all i have for you this weekend hope you enjoyed have a great happy memorial day and we'll talk to you in the next video peace y'all